turn. Offense, y'all like that first. That's the only time we're doing this. Hey, go line. Woo! It's the only time we're doing this. Yeah, it's all fell out. Turn, that's the only time. We got the show. We got the same first, baby. We can't go see it again. Offense, we got the same first, baby. Let's go, y'all. Y'all boys better catch the body. Can't block, we can't win. To the M to the AXX. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, D to the M to the AXX. D Max, D Max. That's how I bowl. D Max, D Max. Better than y'all. D Max, D Max. Like my style. D Max, D Max. Driving you wild. D Max, D Max. That's how I bowl. D Max, D Max. Better than y'all. D Max, D Max. Like my style. D Max, D Max. Driving you wild. Who to blame, who to blame? That's what the opposing team is saying when I step in the game. They see I got too much swag in my veins. And every time I move, all they see is that I leave behind flames. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gridiron Productions coverage of the Daytona Beach Broncos as they get set for their matchup against the Central Florida Bulls in the North Conference Championship game. Kenny Long with you here, ready to bring you all the action live from Florida. It is going to be a fantastic football game with a great atmosphere. Looks like fantastic weather here for this game. I know we were expecting some rain. I might have had some just, just before the game started, but everything is looking sunshiny and ready to go here for this football game here today. I want to thank some of our sponsors uh, for the Daytona Beach Broncos, uh, the city of Daytona Beach, incorporated in July in 1876, Iron Axe Bar and Grill. I want to thank Let's Go Vacations. Beach Embroidery Screen Printing, the Hard Rock Hotel out of Daytona Beach, Let's Go Event Planning, CrossFit Hypernova, and Jerry Westfall Real Estate, Unlock Your Happy Key. I also want to thank the Printing Department, Cabinets Wholesale Outlet, Waldo's Sports Pub and Billiards, Bay Street Seafood, Carolina Seafood Company out of South Daytona. Back Alley Lanes V Arcade, Eat Play VR Arcade and Bowling, Mitchell's Tinting, Ton Takeoff Nutrition, Crunch Fitness, DaytonaFunRental.com, Main Street Tattoo, and Backyard Boys Barbecue as we get set for the kickoff. Broncos will be receiving the ball to start things off. They'll be going right to left as you look at your television screen. Thank you for joining us here on Gridiron Sports Productions, also brought to you by NYSR National U Sports Radio and the Voice Sports Reporters. As we got the whistle to play and we're set to kick off. There's the kick, a deep one up the middle. A little here to the near side, collected about the 15. And we'll take it downfield here on the near side, all the way down to, looks like about the 25. Make that the 30-yard line. So first down for the Broncos here in this North Conference Championship. Broncos, back up. Broncos, Broncos, 
First down play here for the Broncos in their traditional Bronco orange. You get the Bulls in their black with white helmets. Ball spotted just over the 30-yard line, about the 31. Shot good set, takes the snap, hands it off, comes to the left side, and he'll try to go off tackle there to the right. To the left side, just gets over to about the 35-yard line, brings up second down. Second down play, hands it off again, hits to the left side, and a good hard run. We'll get close to the first down marker. Let's see what they spot this at and move the chains. And it looks like we got a fumble on the play. So a fumble occurs and recovered by the Bulls, so they'll be in good field position. First down. From my vantage point, it looked like number 30 on the carry, Terry McMillan. We'll have to verify that. But nonetheless, a turnover by the Broncos, and they'll get the Bulls great field position. So they'll have it at the 34-yard line of the Broncos, first down. Single back set for the Bulls. He'll put his lone set bat on. Nope, now he'll empty the field, empty the backfield. Quarterback Tom Johnson takes a snap, and it'll be a keeper straight up the middle, and a good hard run up the middle. He'll get about four, maybe three yards on that play. That's going to bring up second down. These two teams have battled before. So they know each other well. North Conference Championship game here. The FCFL. Now another quarterback in for the Central Florida Bulls. That's going to be Tyrone O'Neill takes the snap, look at the pass, and he'll... Send it up to the far side, but out of bounds. As he had a good rush in his face at the time. That's going to bring up third down. So after the turnover, having problems moving the football are the Central Florida Bulls. Tyrone O'Neill got his lone setback, Kibante Brown, on his right side. Two wideouts on each side for the Bulls. Third down play coming up, takes a snap. He'll step back, look at the pass, under pressure, rolls out. And he'll throw it up towards the middle, and it's going to be intercepted and dropped. Nearly intercepted by the Broncos. That'll bring up fourth down now for the Bulls. Quentin Green got his hands on the ball out of the secondary, but couldn't hold on to it. And we got a fourth down play coming up. Let's see what the Bulls do here. I want to thank the Insane Cycles Muscle Cars and Daytona Cigar Club. 
along with the full circle full circle nutrition. Thank you for being sponsors of Daytona Beach Broncos football. Well, in punt formation are the Bulls. And they're going to have a delay game called against the Bulls. And big number 99 back deep as the punter. That's going to be Drew Welch. So they'll lose five yards on that play, and they'll replay fourth down. Shotgun takes a snap. There's the punt, and it's a short one. Not a real good punt. Was got, had a lot of pressure up the middle. And it looks like the Broncos will take over pretty much where they had the football to start the game. So 0-0 zero, zero is our score. First down coming up here for the Broncos, their second possession of the game. Great line of sponsors here for Broncos football. Dave and Busters. Six Fitway indoor karting at Daytona. The Barbecue Chic. And Madeline's Wine Bar in Daytona Beach. Olsen Custom Homes, thank you for being sponsors here of Broncos football. Here we go. First down. Shotgun. Single back set. Now they'll put him at the line. Empty backfield. Takes the snap, steps back, look at the pass. Sends it up here on the near side. It's going to be caught. Shakes and rattles, but he'll get stopped. Looks like possibly good for a first down. That's going to be Jahee Taylor on the catch. And it will be good. That will move the chains. First down for the Broncos. Stewart, the quarterback for the Broncos. Empty backfield once again. Two wideouts on each side. Takes a snap. Steps back in the pocket. Sends it up again here to the near side. Caught. Once again by Taylor. And that will be close to another first down. It'll be short about a yard, so second and nine coming up. I believe they have now have the ball in bull territory. Takes a snap. This time they'll hand it off. Goes off tackle to the right. And will find a nice little hole. Gets the first down and a whole lot more as he'll take it upfield. Tavis Smith on the carry that time for the Broncos. Same formation, they'll come over the empty backfield. Three wideouts here on the near side. Takes a snap. Quarterback keeper straight up the middle. And ball is loose and it's picked up by the Broncos. Luckily, as that ball was bouncing around quite a bit, it looked like uh, uh, Tavis Smith was able to scoop it up and get positive yardage out of it. It'll be first down now for the Bulls. William Stewart loses his, loses his helmet. And we got a penalty flag on the play as well. They're going to bring this back. Holding, I believe, is the call against the Bulls. Correction, against the Broncos. Oh, 
Still first down here for the bar, for the Broncos. Single back set to the left, takes the snap. He'll hand it off to that backer. He'll go off tackle to the right. Big number nine on the carry there for the Broncos. That's going to be Rashid Blatch as he will take it up the field. Thank Olsen Custom Homes, Corey's Economy Cars, Fish Bar and Grill, Godfather Fun, and Big Kids Toys e-bikes. Takes a snap on an empty backfield. Quarterback keeper comes into the near side. Cuts up upfield. And will take it over. Penalty flag flies. And they're going to say another fumble. They're going to, I think they're going to say he was down by contact, but a penalty flag is on the field. That's three fumbles right now by the Broncos, something the coaching staff ought to be a little concerned about. So two penalties called against the Broncos. Looks like we have a, from what I could tell, because the referee's got his back to me, uh, first call looked like it'd be a block in the back. And then the second call might have been a holding call. That's going to push the Broncos back even further. Now they're getting negative yardage on this possession. Big thank you to Marco's Pizza. Little Italy Ristorante. K-style cravings. We feed your soul. And Roto-Rooter. Thank you for being sponsors of Broncos football. Shot. Takes a snap. Steps back. Looking to pass. Under pressure. And he is going to get sacked. That, I believe, should bring up third down now for the Broncos as they are going backwards. Zero zeros are our score here in the first quarter. So William Stewart brings the offense back to the line. Again, empties the backfield. They'll put three wideouts here to the near side, two to the far side, takes a snap. Under pressure, rolls out to the far side, and now he'll send it upfield. And they are calling it a catch. So finally some positive yardage here for the Broncos, but it may not be enough. I believe it's going to bring up fourth down. And they will bring on the punting unit. Looks like the catch was made by Tavis Smith. Donut NV, hot donuts, fresh lemonade, Suncoast Fence, Larson Construction Management Incorporated, Pro's Choice Incorporated, Great Greater Grace Chapel of Daytona Beach, and Gridiron Productions. Thank you for being sponsors of Broncos football. Takes the snap. There's the kick. 
And a good punt, but takes a Bulls bounce. And they'll let this die and end. Right about the 30-yard line. That's where the Bulls will take over in their own territory, their own 30-yard line. 0-0 zero, zero is our score here in the first quarter. This is the FCFL North Conference Championship game between the Daytona, Daytona Beach Bulls, Daytona Beach Broncos, and the Central Florida Bulls. Head coach Derek Clark cannot be happy with that offensive output by the by the Broncos that last possession. They'll try to fix some of the, that stuff right away. There we go. Shotgun formation now for the Bulls. Takes a snap, steps back, look at the pass, rolls out here to the near side. Going left to right, in trouble, and he's going to get wrapped up. Stays on his feet, still fighting to stay on his feet, and finally gets taken down by a host of Bronco defenders as they gave no room for Tyrone O'Neill to get anywhere. Good effort to stay on his feet, but just kept taking the hits. Penalty flag is on the field. Holding called against the Bulls. And Broncos wisely will decline that penalty. And they'll take the down and the loss of yardage on the sack. Takes a snap out here to the near side. And it looks like it's going to be number zero on the carry at that time. That's going to be Tom Johnson. So it looks like a two quarterback set the Bulls are running with. One that's a passing and one that's a running. So it should be third down now, third down and very long here for the Bulls, back deep in their own territory. Right about the 15, 16 yard line, takes the snap. Again, look at the pass, and he's gonna get stacked up and he'll throw the ball away. Or are they gonna say he was down prior? Uh, they're going to say he was, and he was taken down before the throw. They'll spot the ball looks between the 14 and 13 yard line, and that's going to bring up fourth down. That brings big Drew Welch, the punter, on for the Bulls. Broncos showing a little pressure here. Looks like they're coming. Takes the snap. There's the kick. And that's going to be blocked. I think the hands got on that. It's collected by the Broncos in short field territory. It looks like that's going to be number 43 making the catch. Z Zarafon only. 
And it puts the Broncos in excellent field position. Drew Welch was not able to get the ball off cleanly. He had a lot of pressure in his face. Couldn't see the player that got a hand on it. You could hear it. Somebody got a hand on the ball. And here come the Broncos in excellent field position right now. About the 24-yard line of the Bulls. Three back set, takes a snap, hands it off, goes off tackle to the left. And a good hard run. Takes it right about the 20-yard line. Tavis Smith on the carry. Second down play coming up. Again, three back set, takes a snap. Again, hands it off. This time up the middle, penalty flag comes in. And that came from the backfield. That's probably going to be holding against the, the Broncos. And holding is the call. That'll march it back. Back him up 10 yards, it'll remain second down. Okay. It looks like that was a 15 yard, it must be a personal foul called. Takes a snap, quarterback keeper, he'll go to the right, looking for some space, nice stiff arm, and he'll get run out of bounds. As Stewart is trying to find some sort of room somewhere there. Not much as good pursuit by the Bulls defense. Takes him, stretches him outside to the right. I believe third down play coming up here. Takes a snap, empty backfield this time. Look at the pass, sends it up here to the near side. In and out of the hands, intended for Cordell, Cordell Moore. Uh, just couldn't hold on to it. That's gonna bring up fourth down. And Cordell knows, he had open field in front of him as well, he knows it. So fourth and long coming up here for the Broncos. Zero zero is our score here in the first quarter. And they're going to go for it here on fourth down. Three wide out to the left, two to the right. Empty backfield for Stewart. Stewart takes the snap, steps back, sends it up the middle. Long pass towards the end zone, it's caught! Touchdown! And a fantastic pass by Stewart. He finds his man, Kalo Hanna. In the corner of the end zone on the, on the right side, the far side of the field, and the Broncos lead 6-0. Thank you. 
Empty backfield for the extra point try. Takes the snap. Look at the pass. Rolls out here to the near side. In trouble. He's going to get wrapped up. And they'll blow the whistle dead. Helmet comes off. And cooler heads will prevail. But the extra point is going to be no good. Six zeros our score. Broncos take the lead. They strike first. This is the FCFL North Conference Championship game. We're in the first quarter. As the Daytona Beach Broncos strike first, they lead 6-0. On a great pass from Stewart. Stewart to Hannah, connecting in the corner of the end zone. On a fourth down play. And Kenneth Jackson ready to kick the ball deep to the Bulls. Here's the kick. And he'll recover this at about the 20. And penalty flags come down, and he'll take a big hit. Correction, about the 10-yard line is where he recovered that football. And it looked like number 30, Terry McMillan. Taking the hit on the ball carrier. We got an injured Bronco on the field. On behalf of Bronco Nation, we'd like to express our sincere gratitude for your generous donations and support of our team. We really appreciate everything you do. We want to thank our sponsors, City of Daytona Beach, Iron Axe Barn Grill, as the player's up and headed to the sidelines under his own power. Let's go vacations and beach embroidery screen printing. So first down for the Bulls, they're down 6-0 against the Broncos here in this North Conference Championship game. Kenny Long with you here with NYSR National Youth Sports Radio. Shotgun, single back set, hands it off up the middle and a good run. They'll get about five, almost ten yards on the play. We'll see where they spot this if it moves the chains. Same formation. This time they'll put the set back on the right side. Takes a snap, hands it off. And he'll get taken down. He'll lose a couple of yards on that play. As Kevonte Brown, the ball carrier for the Bulls. Hey, 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 
O'Neal. Now he'll come up under center. Single back set. Takes the snap under center. Hands it off. And he'll punch it outside to the left. To the far side of the field and gets run out of bounds. Penalty flag comes out. And we're going to have holding called against the Bulls. So holding is the call. That'll march him back. Puts him back to their own 17-yard line. Can't see the down marker, but so I'm not sure if it's second or third down here. Takes a snap, steps back, look at the pass, sends it up the middle, it's caught. He'll come here to the near side, it's got a little bit of space, and he'll slip and go down. And it'll bring up fourth down. Pass caught by Xavion Clayton for the Bulls. And fourth down again, deep in their own territory. And it looks like this time the Bulls are going to go for it. So big gamble here by the coaching staff of the Bulls. Under center. And we're going to have a false start called against the Bulls. Let's see if they rethink. And they will rethink that. They're going to punt. So the punting unit comes out. Drew Welch back deep. Had his last punt partially blocked. And we've got a timeout on the field. Timeout called by the Bulls. They want to talk this one over. Six zeros are scored this FCFL North Conference Championship game here in the first quarter. First quarter action for you. As the Bulls are set to punt, Drew Welch, the punter, takes the snap, kind of to the left, correction to the right, and he'll kick this deep. And a good punt this time takes it down to about the 28. Gets returned to the 50 and runs out of bounds. And a good return 
by number seven for the Broncos, Phillip Bailey. And once again, puts the Broncos in great field position. Six zeros our score here in the first quarter. And we've got a penalty, I believe. Like a penalty was called against the Broncos on the return. That's going to back them up. Got to put them at their own 47-yard line. Takes a snap. Quick pass. It's caught at the 50. Takes it down to the... Close to the 45, he gets wrapped up, and he'll drive himself over the 45 to about the 44 and out of bounds. Seeing a lot of great action here by number 22. That's going to be Tavis Smith doing a great job out of the backfield. And that's going to end our first quarter play. Six for the Daytona Beach Broncos, zero for the Central Florida Bulls. Will second quarter action coming your way? Keep it here. Semi-Pro Football, FCFL North Conference Championship out of Florida. Broadcast brought to you by Gridiron Productions. Voice Sports, NYSR, National Youth Sports Radio. I'm Kenny Long with NYSR. Thank you for joining us here on this broadcast. Follow me on Twitter, at Kenny Long Radio. Kenny is spelled K-E-N-N-I-E, at Kenny Long Radio. As we continue second quarter action, 6-0. The Broncos with the lead over the Bulls. And Broncos with the football. They've got it about their own 47-yard line. There's Gridiron Productions. Follow them, follow them on YouTube, subscribe, watch all the great, fantastic sporting events that they carry on Gridiron Productions. Here we go, Shotgun takes a snap, under pressure, he'll send it up, and that's going to be knocked away. It's like it was intended, intended for Juan Torres. 
but knocked away nicely by number eight for the Bulls. I don't have him on the roster. Either eight or six. It could be six. That may be Kevontae Brown making that stop. Nonetheless, third down now. Broncos take the snap, rolls out. And it looks like he'll keep it. And he's going to get wrapped up and taken down in the backfield. And it might have been another fumble. There might even be a flag down on the play. Let's see. No, but it'll be fourth down. And managed to get back to the line of scrimmage. So fourth down coming up here for the Broncos. And it looks like they're going to send in the punting unit. And we get under the timeout called on the field. This time the Broncos will take timeout so they can discuss this. And decide what they want to do. Hey, Greater Grace Chapel of Daytona Beach, Pro's Choice Incorporated. <laughs> Pro Choice Incorporated, sorry guys. Larson Construction Management Incorporated, Suncoast Fans, Donut NV, Hot Donuts, Fresh Lemonade. Better than y'all. D Max, D Max, like my style. D Max, D Max, driving you wild. D Max, D Max, that's how I bowl. D Max, D Max, better than y'all. D. Roto Rooter, K Style Cravings, we feed your soul. Little Italy Ristorante, Daytona Beach, and Marco's Pizza. Thank you for being sponsors. Well, fourth down play, it looks like the Broncos decide to go for it. Shotgun formation for Stewart. Single back set, takes the snap, and he'll keep it. Comes here to the near side. He's got open field. He'll get the first down and more as he will stretch it out and take it. Into Bulls territory. They'll take it just short of the 35-yard line of the Bulls, call it the 36. It'll be good for a first down for the Broncos. Takes the snap out of an empty backfield. Stewart sends the ball up the middle, looking for the end zone, and just overthrows his intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. I think that was Cordell Moore he was targeting there. Second down play, shotgun, single back set, two wide outs on each side, takes a snap. He'll send it up quickly here on the near side. It's caught. And that time it was Kalo Hanna. Safety! No safety! 
Again, looking to pass, sends it up deep. Looking to the corner of the end zone, and it's caught touchdown. Kylo Hanna, his second touchdown on the day. It looks like we got an injured Bronco on the field. As Sean Henderson, number 59, needs to take a knee for a moment. But a great pass by Stewart to his favorite target, Kalo Hanna, at least his favorite target for the day so far. It's two touchdowns on the day for Hanna. One in each quarter so far. And Broncos lead 12-0. And now Rashad Floyd. In the backfield, takes a snap, rolls out, he'll look to pass. And he'll quick dump it and just over the head as he was looking for the running back in the backfield, Tavis Smith. So 12 for the Broncos, 0 for the Bulls is our score. The two touchdown receptions by Hanna. Big Kids Toy E-Bikes, Godfather Pond, Fish Bar and Grill, Corey's Economy Cars of Daytona Beach, Olson Custom Homes, Building Integrity for 20 Years, and Madeline's Wine Bar, Daytona Beach, Barbecue Chic, and Six Feetway Indoor Karting, Daytona. Thank you for being sponsors of Broncos football. There's the kick back to the Bulls. They're down 12 0. Recovered up the middle and gets dropped. That'll bring up first down for the Bulls. They're down 12-0. Need to get something rolling here on offense. Looks like once again, number 30 on special teams, Terry McMillan making the stop. Daytona Beach Broncos defending champions or champions in 2022, the FCFL. The record of 11 and 1 on the season. Looking to repeat here in 2023. Championship games on June 3rd for the FCFL.
A little delay here, but they looks like they're finally ready to play. Here we go. First down here for the Bulls. O'Neal back deep with an empty backfield. He's got three wideouts to the far side, one here to the near, two here to the near side. He'll keep it up the middle. He's going to get wrapped up, take it down. He'll get a couple of yards on the play, but that's about it. And it looks like he'll lose his lid as well, and he'll head to the sideline. That'll bring in Tom Johnson. Second down play coming up here for the Bulls. As the sun begins to set in Central Florida. Takes a snap, hands it off, and gets hit in the backfield immediately. And a big hit by the Broncos defender number 15, R.J. Porsche. As he lays the wood, he'll lose about two yards on the play. It'll bring up third down. Third down play. Takes a snap, looking to pass, under pressure, rolls out here to the near side, going right to left. And he was looking for the possible pitch, but nowhere to, nowhere to go with the football as he is swallowed up and taken down. And a good job by Kenneth Jackson making the stop. That'll bring up fourth down now for the bowl. And Broncos are starting to flex that defensive muscle now. Second quarter action of the FCFL North Conference Championship game. Welch back deep the punt once again for the Bulls. And makes the kick. And this will be taken at about the 35, 40, 45. And across the 50. And a nice return runs out of bounds. Philip Bailey with the nice return for the Broncos. And once again, they'll be in bull territory with the football to start this possession off. Broncos, the beneficiary of great field position all game so far, at least this first half. And it's accounted for two of those touchdowns. Shotgun formation for the Broncos. Empty backfield takes a snap, steps up into the pocket. Now he'll roll out. In trouble, under pressure. He'll cut up field, keeps it himself. Finally gets taken down from behind, but a nice run nonetheless. like Rashad Floyd that time in a quarterback with that carry. Stopped by Darius Mills, number seven, for the Bulls. Hey, 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 
Second down play, empty backfield once again for Rashad. Takes a snap in the pocket, making the pass, looking for the end zone and in and out of the hands. Good coverage that time by the Bulls secondary, but nearly connects with his intended receiver. I believe that's going to bring up third down now. Second quarter action of the FCFL North Conference Championship game. Broncos with the lead, 12-0, in good field position right now. And it looks like we've got a penalty that was called against the Broncos in the meantime. And it is first down. Three wide outs to the left, two here to the right. Empty backfield. Rashad takes a snap. Sends it up on the near side. In the double coverage, and that's intercepted. And he'll try to return it back up the middle. Cuts back up. And finally gets wrapped up and taken down. But an interception, number 24. Making the interception. Don't have him on the roster. Missing a lot of jersey numbers for the Bulls. My apologies. Unable to call, find out who that player is. But making the interception are the Bulls, and they'll take over their own field, uh, on their own side of the field. Takes the snap, hands it off, goes up the middle, cuts back out to the right on the outside. And gets wrapped up. It'll get about five yards. I believe that's going to be number six, Cavante Brown on the carry. Single back set, two wideouts on each side, and we got whistles on the play. Let's see, do we have a false start or an offsides? And they are going to call offsides against the Broncos. As Kenneth Jackson jumped the snap and was unabated to the quarterback. I believe that's going to be good for a first down for the Bulls. And it will. They'll move the chains. And penalty flies come in. We're going to have a false start now called against the Bulls. First down, but now first and 15. Twelve zero is our score. Now 
Takes a snap, quick pass in the flat. It's caught. He'll go to the far side. Cuts up the field. Lowers the shoulder. That's going to bring up second down. All right about the 30-yard line. Takes a snap under center, hands it off. Again, it goes to the right side. And we'll get run out of bounds and taken down. I believe that should bring up third down now for the Bulls. Two wideouts on each side, single back set here for the Bulls. Takes a snap. Rolls out, comes here to the near side. Now he'll get taken down from behind. The ball comes loose. And they're going to say that is Bronco football. So the Broncos will take over with four minutes remaining here in the second quarter. They lead 12-0. Shotgun, takes a snap, steps back, looking to pass, in the pocket, sends it up, back deep, and making the catch in the end zone and keeps his feet in, touchdown. Kalo Hanna with his third touchdown on the day. Great pass and recognition by Stewart as he sent it to, to Kalo Hanna, who had the frame of mind to keep his feet inbounds in the end zone. And the side judge was right there. Takes the snap. Quarterback keeper goes up the middle and will gets in for the extra point. It is good. So the two-point conversion is good. Makes our score 20 for the Bulls. Zero, 20 for the Broncos, correction, and zero for the Bulls. I want to thank Dave and Buster's Full Circle Nutrition. 
for fitness nutrition. Fun Fitness Nutrition, Daytona Cigar Club, Insane Cycles Muscle Cars, Backyard Boys Barbecue, Main Street Tattoo, DaytonaFunRental.com. We deliver fun and crunch fitness. Thank you for being sponsors of Broncos football. Here's the kick. Seed in the backfield, comes out of the far side, and now he'll try to reverse the field and gets wrapped up, taken down. First down for the Bulls. They're now down 20 to zero here in this FCFL North Conference Championship game. Semi-pro football brought to you by Gridiron Productions. Voice Sports at NYSR, National Youth Sports Radio. Four minutes remaining here in the first half, 20 to zero. The Daytona Beach Broncos leading the Central Florida Bulls. Single back set here for the Bulls. Takes a snap, hands it off. He'll go straight up the middle and a nice run as he will get first down yardage and a little more. Same formation for the Bulls. Clock running, 340 remaining. Takes a snap, looking to pass. Rolls out. Now he'll take it himself. And will run out of bounds on the far side. I think that's Rashad Floyd. Still in the game at quarterback for the Bulls. Correction, Javon Chapel. Correction is Tyrone Neal. Takes a snap and makes the throw. It'll fall incomplete. He was looking for somebody up the middle. Penalty flag on the field. And we do. It's against the Broncos. And this is going to be a 15-yarder. And an automatic first down for the Bulls. that will put them in Bronco territory. Pass to the far side. It is caught. 
And that's going to be Xavion Clayton with the catch for the Bulls. Second down. Bulls trying to mount some sort of offense return here to get back in this ball. They're down 20 to 0. Takes a snap, hands it off, and he'll go off tackle to the right. Not much there, maybe gets a yard or two. Kevontae Brown on the carry that time for the Bulls. Now, I believe that's going to be the two minute warning. Our score Broncos 20, Bulls 0. In the FCFL North Conference Championship game brought to you by Gridiron Productions. How I bowl, D Max, D Max, better than y'all. D Max, D Max, like my style. D Max, D Max. Two minutes left here in this first half. Twenty to zero is our score. Shotgun takes a snap. Little shovel pass up the middle. Not much there. Gets a couple of yards out of the play. At that time, Tom Johnson on the carry for the Bulls. So timeout on the field. I want to thank some sponsors. Take off ton nutrition. Mitchell's tending. Back Alley Lanes V Arcade. Eat Play VR Arcade and Bowling. Carolina Seafood Company, South Daytona. Bay Street Seafood. Waldo's Sports Ball Sports Pub and Billiards. Cabinet Holes at Outlets Design Service and Installation. And TPD, the printing department. Thank you for being sponsors of Broncos football. Here on Gridiron Productions. I want to thank Gridiron Productions and Voice Sports. Give me the opportunity to call this game here for them tonight. Kenny Long with you here with NYSR National Youth Sports Radio. Minute 28 remaining here in the half. FCFL North Conference Championship. Broncos with the lead 20-0. Bulls with the football. And threatening. Takes a snap. And nice run here to the near side, but nowhere to go. And he's looking for a call. And he's not going to get it. Tyro Neal was looking for a face mask call. Hey. 
I believe that was Rashawn Ned with the stop. And that'll be a turnover on downs on the Bulls. That was fourth down. It'll be first down now for the Broncos with a minute 18 remaining here in the half. William Stewart with three touchdown passes on in the half. All three of them to his favorite target, Kalo Hanna. Five wideouts, three to the le left, two to the right. Takes a snap, Stewart. Sets it up. Got a man open and is knocked down, nearly intercepted. Just not quite far enough. He had a he had a receiver streaking up the middle. Had he just gotten it over the defender, that might have been six. And it looks like there's been a penalty called against the Broncos as well. So that's going to back them up. It remains first down. Takes the snap. Stewart escapes the pocket. He'll go to the far side. And we'll get taken down. He'll get some of those yards back. Gonna bring up second down. And we got a timeout called by the Broncos. Stops the clock with 49 seconds. Gives us some time to thank more of our sponsors. Jerry Westfall, unlock your happy. CrossFit Hypernova. Let's go event planning. Hard Rock Hotel out of Daytona Beach. Beach embroidery screen printing. Let's Go Vacations, Iron Axe Bar and Grill in the city of Daytona Beach. Thank you for sponsoring Broncos football right here on Gridiron Productions. All right, here we go. Penalty flag on the field. They call a false start against the Broncos. Catch is made here on the near side. Turns the corner, stays in bounds, and streaking down the sideline is Hannah. Still on his feet, finally gets taken down, but not before he gets across the 30 to about the 25. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds back further. And we got a penalty flag on the field as well. Hey, 
that's what the holdup is. He got down deep into the Broncos ter or Bulls territory. We got a penalty flag on the field during the play. Probably a block in the back call. And they're going to bring this back. What a run by Hannah. He's had a heck of a game here today. The second down for the Broncos. 25 seconds remaining here in the first half. As the lights are on and night begins to fall here in Florida. Stewart takes a snap at that empty backfield. Rolls out. Penalty flag comes in. And he'll launch this ball up. That's going to be intercepted. And he could take this back to the house. All the way down to about the five, four yard line before he's finally taken down. So a penalty flag came out during the play. It's probably going to be a holding call. But the ball will be intercepted. They'll probably decline the penalty. We'll see what happens with the injured player first and then what they make the call on. And Stewart's a little shaken up on that play as well. I think Stewart was in on that tackle, but he's a little slow to get off the field. Unable, unable to catch the number on the defender that made the interception and run back uh, that was injured, but he is, he'll walk off the field with a little bit of assistance, so hopefully we'll check on him a little bit later, make sure everything's okay. But the Bulls will have the football as now the referees will hash out the, the penalties everything that occurred in that play has <laughs> number 20 for the Broncos gives a little show on the field Quentin Green showing off his dancing skills As the Broncos coaching staff now getting an explanation on the call and the placement of the football. Hey, I had you, bro. Hey, 
The holding is the call against the Broncos. The penalty is declined. They'll take the interception and the placement of the ball at the end of the play. And the Bulls will now be in scoring position at about the three-yard line of the Broncos with seven seconds remaining here in the first half. Now they've got that all figured out. So here we go for the Bulls, an opportunity to get on the board. Takes a snap. Quarterback keeper, he'll try to go up the middle. Penalty flag comes in. And we're going to have a face mask call, I believe. No signal yet whether he got in the end zone or not. Face mask is called against the Broncos, and he did get in the end zone. So Tyrone O'Neal with the quarterback keeper gets into the end zone and will score a touchdown for the Bulls. So 20 to 6 is our score with the extra point try coming up here for the Bulls. Takes the snap. Look at the pass. Sends it up the middle. And that is going to be no good. It falls incomplete. So 20 to 6 is our score as the Bulls managed to get on the board after an interception taken all the way back to the three yard line of the Broncos. And the unofficial clock shows one second remaining here in the half. Well, we'll have this kickoff, and that'll probably just about do it. This is the FCFL North Conference Championship game between the Daytona Beach Broncos and the Central Florida Bulls. 20 to 6 is our score here in the second quarter, end of the first half. Barring a big play by the Broncos on a kickoff return, that's, this should be our score heading into halftime. Well, getting ready to kick. Bulls will get the football to start the second half. And whistles blow prior to the kick. It was a low line squib kick. So a penalty called, I believe, against the, the Bulls.
That's going to back them up five yards, and they'll redo it. And that kick goes out of bounds, not being touched. You can hear the, the crowd begging for halftime. But they will come back to the field and re-kick it again after the penalty. So Welch will do it all over again. Here's the kick, and this time it stays in bounds. Collected. Looking for the return. Comes into the near side, looking for blockers. And he's not going to find it. Gets wrapped up, taken down. And now that is halftime. Our score, 24 the Daytona Beach Broncos and six for the Central Florida Bulls. We'll be back at the start of the second half. Coming up. This is Gridiron Productions coverage of the FCFL North Conference Championship. Like my style, D-Max, D-Max, driving you wild, D-Max, D-Max, that's how I bowl, D-Max, D-Max, better than y'all, D-Max, D-Max, like my style, D-Max, D-Max, driving you wild. Who to blame, who to blame, that's what the opposing team is saying when I step in the game, they see I got too much swag in my veins, and every time I move, all they see is that I leave behind flames. flames. Ain't no 
I do got the best hand. I appreciate it. This is a mental game. Keep your mind right. We ain't done yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. 
D to the M to the A X X. D Max, D Max, how I ball. D Max, D Max, better than y'all. D Max, D Max, like my style. D Max, D Max, drop me wild. D Max, D Max, that's how I ball. D Max, D Max, better than y'all. D Max, D Max, like my style. D Max, D Max, drop me wild. Who to blame, who to blame? That's what the opposing team is saying when I step in the game. They see I got too much swag in my veins. And every time I move, all they see is that I leave behind flames. And welcome back as we get set for second half action here of the FCFL North Conference Championship game between the Daytona Beach Broncos and the Central Florida Bulls. 20 to 6 is our score as the Bulls will have the football to start this second half. And that is a deep kick back to about the two yard line. It'll be picked up and returned up the middle. He'll take it down to about the 15 20 yard line. So about the 17 18 yard line is where they'll spot this at. First down coming up here for the Bulls. Looking to get back in this football game. They, uh, we're graced with a interception towards the end of the second half that was returned all the way back to the three yard line of the Broncos. And we're able to punch it in for their first touchdown of the day. About a three yard run by Tyrone O'Neill to put him on the scoreboard. But other than that, it's been all Daytona Beach Broncos, in particular, the passing game from William Stewart hitting his favorite target in the end zone three different occasions now with Takalo Hanna. One in the first quarter and twice in the second quarter. And a two-point conversion was good on that final score to make it 20 to six. And right off the bat, here in the first possession, they hadn't even snapped the ball yet. On their first offensive possession of the half, the Bulls have to call a timeout. We'll take that moment to thank some of these sponsors. The city of Daytona Beach, incorporated in July 1876. Iron Axe, Bar and Grill, Let's Go Vacations, Beach Embroidery, Screen Printing, Hard Rock Hotel, Daytona Beach, Let's Go Event Planning, CrossFit Hypernova and Jerry Westfall Real Estate. Unlock your happy. How about TPD, the printing department? Cabinet Wholesale Outlets Design Service Installation. Waldo's Sports Pub and Billiards. Bay Street Seafood. Carolina Seafood Co Company in South Daytona. Back Alley Lanes VR Cane. Eat Play VR Arcade and Bowling. Mitchell's Tinning. And ton take off nutrition. Thank you for being sponsors of Broncos football. Here we go. Now we're set, ready to go. The Bulls. Single back set shotgun takes a snap. They'll pitch it to the lone setback. And he will get hammered. As Zafron only steps up to make the hit on that play. Second down play coming up now. Takes a snap. Look at the pass. In the pocket. Got time. Now he's under pressure. Sends it up on the opposite side of the field. Makes the catch. And hit immediately. Catch made by number four. For the Bulls, don't have him on the roster, so I can't tell you his name, unfortunately. In on the stop was Kimberly Mack, number 26, and he loses lid. He'll have to come out of the game for a play.
Hands it off. Goes to the left. They're going left to right as you look at your screen. And he'll run out of bounds. Actually, will stay in bounds. As Kevontae Brown on the carry that time, and that's going to be good for a first down for the Bulls. Again, hands it off. Up the middle this time, not much there. He'll maybe get a yard, maybe two. And Kevontae Brown on the carry. Third quarter action for you here in this FCFL North Conference Championship game between the Broncos and the Bulls. Takes a snap, hands it off. Devontae once again on the outside going left. Lowers the shoulder. And the Bulls now look like they're going a little bit of smash mouth football here. And it's working. We up third down at about two. Takes a snap, rolls out. And now a quick pass is caught for the first down in more as he'll scamper upfield and out of bounds. And Xavion Clayton with the catch and the first down. That'll move the sticks. Takes the snap again, hands it off. This time number 27 with the carry. Trying to find some room. He's not going to find it. Jeff and Wallace there on the stop for the Broncos. Shotgun, single back set. Now they'll move him out. Takes the snap. Quarterback keeper. He'll roll out to the far side over on the left, and he'll get taken out of bounds for a short game. Tom Johnson that time. Coming out of the Wildcat was Johnson. Can of defense. Takes the snap. Again, looking to pass. In trouble now. He rolls out. And he's being chased out of the pocket. Comes here to the near side. Still eluding tacklers. And finally will dive forward. Tyrone O'Neill on the carry that time for the Bulls. Takes a snap. Rolls out to the far side in trouble. He'll try to lower the shoulder. And a nice run as he cuts it up field. That's going to be Tom Johnson that time in a quarterback run in the Wildcat. Hey, 
And a second timeout is called. The Bulls take their second of three timeouts in this half. And that's got to be a concern. So the Bulls go the remainder of this game with only one timeout remaining. Broadcast brought to you by Gridiron Productions live streaming and the voice sports, sports reporters. I'm Kenny Long with NYSR National Youth Sports Radio. Thank you for joining us here tonight for this FCFL North Conference Championship game. We're in the third quarter of action as the Daytona Beach Broncos lead the Central Florida Bulls 20-6. Bulls with the football and on the move. But they have taken two of their three timeouts in this half. Takes a snap, pitches it, comes into the far side. Nowhere to go. He gets cut down. We'll lose yardage on that play. As DeQuarian Brady was in at quarterback that time. And Cavante Brown had nowhere to go as he was cut down by the Broncos' defense. So a decision here for the Bulls. I believe that's going to be it's either third or fourth down. And looks like they're going to go for it. Two wideouts on each side. Single back set. Shotgun takes the snap. Looking to pass. Sends it up the middle. And that is going to be intercepted or is it going to fall incomplete? And I believe they're going to say it is going to be incomplete. So an injury timeout on the field. As let's thank some more of our sponsors here. Crunch Fitness, DaytonaFunRental.com, Main Street Tattoo, Backyard Boys Barbecue, Insane Cycles and Muscle Cars, Daytona Cigar Club, Full Circle Nutrition, Dave and Buster's, Six Speedway Indoor Karting Daytona. Barbecue Chic. Made from scratch. Savor the flavor. Madeline's Wine Bar in Daytona Beach. And Olson Custom Holds. Building integrity for 20 years. Thank you for sponsoring Broncos football. Here on Gridiron Productions. Shotgun takes the snap. Look at the pass. Rolls out in under pressure. Now he'll just keep it. And we'll take it down to about the 10 yard line or just short of. As Tyrone O'Neill trying to make things happen for his Bulls. And I believe we, I think we have a penalty on the play. And it's going to be called against the Broncos.
Not sure what the call was. The, the, the signal that I could see, it was almost like he was calling the illegal shift. But uh, they're on defense, so I'm not sure how that was the case. Nonetheless, the penalty is declined. They're going to take the play. It'll be first down for the Bulls. And they'll have it at about the nine-yard line of the Broncos. Neal will go under center. Now he'll, yeah, he'll go under center. Now he'll step back into shotgun. He's got a lone setback. It's Brown. Takes a snap. He'll pitch it to Brown. Brown tries to go to the outside to the right. Not going to get much. Gets back to about the line of scrimmage and has run out of bounds. It should be second down now for the Bulls. Second and, and about 10. May have given them a half a yard on that. This time Brown is on the left side. Look at the pass. O'Neal rolls out. And steps out of bounds again, right about the nine-yard line. Nowhere to go. Good defense by the Broncos, keeping him pinned in. That's going to bring up third down. So a third and goal coming up here for the Bulls. They're down 20 to six. Takes the snap, rolls out to the left this time. Got a lead blocker, cuts back upfield. He'll try to do it himself, and he's going to get stopped. Looks like at about the two-yard line. That's where they will stop O'Neal. We've got another injured Bronco. Slow to get up. He gets on his feet. And he appears to be all right, Malik Wilson. He'll stay in the game. I believe this is going to be fourth and goal. Fourth and goal from the two. O'Neal goes under center. He'll step back into shotgun. Brown on his left side. Two wideouts on each side. Takes a snap. He'll try to keep it himself, and he's going to get stopped. So the Bulls drive down the field. They get it to the two-yard line, but on fourth and goal at the two, cannot punch it in as the Bronco defense stands firm and stops O'Neal. They will take over at their own two. 20 to 6 is the lead. Yeah, I'm 
All right, first and back at their own two-yard line. And a timeout is called by the Broncos. I think there's a uh, personnel issue. As Stewart looks back at the at the white hat and calls timeout. And sponsors here for Broncos football, Corey's Economy Cars of Daytona Beach, Fish Barn Grill, Godfather Pond, Big Kid Toy E-Bikes, Marco's Pizza, Little Italy Ristorante in Daytona Beach, K-Style Cravings, We Feed Your Soul, Roto-Rooter, Donut NV, Hot Donuts, Fresh Lemonade, Suncoast Fence, Larson Construction Management Incorporated, Pro's Choice Incorporated, Greater Grace Chapel of Daytona Beach, Real People, Authentic Grace, and Grid Iron Productions, LLC. Sponsors of Broncos football. Here we go. First down here for the Broncos. Stewart takes the snap. He'll keep it. Goes straight up the middle. Finds a hole. And will finally get taken down, but not before he gains a chunk of yards. First down coming up. And Stewart is shaking up. William Stewart's had a heck of a ball game here so far. Three touchdown passes on the day. I believe Rashad Floyd is now in at quarterback. Floyd out of the shotgun, hands it off. Off tackle to the right. And not much there. He gets taken down right away. That looked like number 20 on the carry for the Broncos, Quentin Green. Floyd remains out there, empty backfield, shotgun, takes a snap, looking to pass, sends it up the middle, and he's got a man open, and what a catch, a fantastic skied up catch. Tavis Smith, with coverage on him, able to go up and get the football, first down Broncos, and they'll put it in Bulls territory. And they're walking it back. We may have a penalty flag on the field. And we do have a penalty flag on the field. The holding is the call, and they'll march him back. Oh, 
And unfortunately, that'll negate the catch by Tavis Smith. Takes the snap, look at the pass. Ends it upfield. And the catch is made. Austin Freeze, his first catch here of the night. Rashad Floyd still in at quarterback here for the Broncos. Three wideouts now to the far side. Takes the snap. Looking to pass. Sends it up here in the near side. That's going to be caught. And Hannah once again with the catch takes it into Bulls territory. Right about the 50-yard line. Halo Hannah. That'll move the sticks for another first down here for the Broncos. They lead 20 to 6 here in this third quarter of the FCFL North Conference Championship brought to you by Gridiron Sports Productions. Takes a snap, hands it off, and he'll go off tackle to the right. Gets a couple of yards out of the play, crosses the 50 down to about the 48-yard line. Tavis Smith on the carry. Floyd's got Smith on his right side. Takes the snap, rolls out. Looking at the pass, sends it up. And up in the air, and they're going to say incomplete. That'll bring up second down. Takes a snap. Floyd rolling out in trouble. Now he'll pitch it. Catch is made. Quick little shovel pass type throw. Catch is made by number 17 for the Broncos. That's going to be Trevor Young. And I believe we got another injured Bronco on the far side. Water, water, water. That's all, that's all yeah. Hey, 
Broncos with the ball, they lead 20 to six, taking a lot of time off the clock here in this third quarter. Floyd still in at quarterback, takes a snap on an empty backfield. Now he'll keep it and goes to the far side and will run it out of bounds. I believe that's good for another first down. Four wideouts now here to the left side. Floyd with the snap, the throw up the middle. And that will fall incomplete. And looks like he was looking for Hannah. Couldn't make the connection there. Again, they'll put four wide out to the left here on the near side. Floyd takes the snap. In the pocket. Now he's going to get rushed out in trouble. And will cut up field. And a good, hard, powerful run. Floyd able to make something out of nothing there as he looked like he was caught in the backfield. And he just lowered the shoulder and it started pounding. Penalty called against the Broncos. Backs him up another five yards. Coming up broadcast here on Gridiron Productions, June 3rd, it's the FCFL Super Bowl. A whole day of fantastic events going on. We'll run that down for you here after this play. Floyd takes the snap. Looking to pass, he'll send it up on the far side. And that catch is made. And Austin Freeze with the catch and another penalty flag is on the field. Two flags are on the field. And it may negate that catch. I think we've got holding called against the Broncos. Oh, 
So holding is the call, and I believe that is the end of the third quarter. 20-6 to six is our score. The Broncos leading the Bulls. Keep it here. We'll be back for the start of the fourth quarter. Welcome back to the fourth quarter here of the FCFL North Conference Championship game. Broncos lead 20 to 6 over the Bulls. Winner of this game will play the winner of the South Conference, which it looks like unofficially right now, but it looks like the Bengals have defeated, or excuse me, the Rise have defeated the Bengals 12 to 0. Don't forget, June 3rd, it's the FCFL Super Bowl games. All kinds of events starting at 12 p.m. Eastern time. It is the All-Star game, followed by 3 p.m. It's what they call the sponsor game. And then at 7 p.m. will be the championship game. Make sure you uh, follow and tune in to Gridiron Productions on YouTube. And follow them on Facebook as well for all the notifications and get set for the action for a fantastic championship game in the FCFL Super Bowl. 12 p.m. All-Star Game, 3 p.m. is the sponsor game, and 7 p.m. is the championship games. All times are Eastern time. Rise did, in fact, defeat the Bengals 12-0. So the winner here will face the rise in that FCFL Super Bowl game. So a discussion about the ball placement. They get it figured out. Takes a snap, whistles blow. And offsides is the call against the Bulls. Currently third down here for the Broncos. Spot the ball now at the 44-yard line of the Bulls. Still third down here for the Broncos. Floyd with three wideouts to the left. They're now going right, left to right. You look at your screen, takes a snap in the pocket. 
pump fakes. Now he'll set it up on a quick pass here to the near side. And that's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Intended for Hannah, and he is down on the sidelines injured. Now all kinds of confusion with personnel, but they finally get the punting unit on. There's the kick. And it'll be down. Looks like at about the 11-yard line. Possibly the 12. After the Bulls will take over, they're down 20 to 6. Takes a snap, hands it off, first down here for the Bulls. Rolls out here to the near side and finds a hole. And will get a chunk of yards before he's finally taken down. Penalty flag comes out at the tackle. And 27 on the carry. Not on my roster that I received. Call is called against the Bulls. Takes a snap, hands it off. He'll go to the far side this time. Tries to cut it up field. And takes a lick. Again, 27 on the carry. Looks like number five, Corey Mack, I believe is in the game as the quarterback. Two wideouts on each side here for the Bulls. Takes a snap. Look at the pass. Set up deep. 
And that's going to fall incomplete. Penalty flag is on the field. Yeah, they're going to call pass interference, I believe, against the Broncos. Trouble in the backfield, and they're going to get them. Nowhere to go. Good defense there by the Broncos that time. Swarming defense. Fourth quarter action, 20 to 6 is our score here at the NCFL North Conference Championship game. Broncos with the lead, Bronco Bulls with the football and trying to drive. Takes the snap, rolls out, looking the pass, sends it up here on the near side, it's caught. And he'll try to turn it upfield for first down yardage, he'll get it. And a little bit more as Javon Chappell with the catch. Three to Query and Brady. And quick pass is behind the intended receiver, falls incomplete. As he was looking for Xavion Clayton. Bulls come to the line, shotgun, single back set, two wideouts on each side, takes the snap. Steps up in the pocket, quick pass up the middle, that's going to be caught. And that should be good for another first down for the Bulls. Number 12 on the catch that time. Takes a snap, hands it off, goes here to the left, and gets tackled from behind. Broncos defender. Daffron only making the stop. Takes the snap, looking the pass. In trouble in the pocket. Nowhere to go. He'll finally send it up, looking for the end zone. Falls incomplete. Oh, 
Pointing the sticks is our score. Who? Oh, no, who? Who? Time running out for the Bulls. Takes the snap. Look in the pass. Sends it up. Caught. Breaks one tackle. And he's finally taken down. It'll be good for another first down for the Bulls. But they're going to march this back. We got a penalty flag on the field. They will march this back. Bulls just cannot find a break here offensively. They got the one. That was about it after an interception. Take it back to about the three-yard line of the Broncos. They were able to punch it in. About a two, three-yard run by Tyrone O'Neal. O'Neal's out of the game right now. The Aquarium Brady is the quarterback. Takes the snap. In trouble, rolls out, makes the pass. And that's going to be caught on the far side. And then a late penalty flag is going to come out after the hit. Twenty-three with the catch for the Bulls. Don't have him on the roster. So a personal foul, helmet to helmet hit is the call against the Broncos. That's going to put the ball all the way down to about the nine yard line. Play up the middle, goes nowhere. The defense is there to stop them. A lot of time coming off the clock. Second down and nine. Second and goal. Under center is Brady. And now a false start is called against the Bulls. It'll back him up another five. Under center, Brady hands it off, up the middle. Maybe a yard gain on the play. Oh, 
Takes a snap. Look at the pass in the pocket. Steps up the middle. He's going to get taken down. And late flags come in again. Now an explanation is being made to the Broncos head coach. This spots the ball at the five-yard line. It'll be first and goal as another personal foul called against the Broncos. Takes a snap, rolls out, in trouble, throws it back across the field, and that falls incomplete. Second and goal coming up. So the FCFL South champions, the Rise, all set to take on the winner of this game. June 3rd in the FCFL Super Bowl. 12 p.m. is the All-Star Game. 3 p.m. the Sponsor Game. And the Championship Game, the Super Bowl, at 7 p.m. Catch all that action right here on Gridiron Productions. Second and goal, takes a snap, rolls out, in trouble, stretches it out, and will step out of bounds. Broncos defense stepping up here on a goal line stand. And I believe Tyrone O'Neill is back on the football field. He is at quarterback. Split back set. Now he's going to have a single back set. Two wideouts on each side. Lone setback is Cavante Brown on his right side. Takes a snap and passes it. Looking for the corner of the end zone. And that is going to be incomplete. Apple is going to bring up fourth down and goal. Gridiron Productions, Greater Grace Chapel of Daytona. Pro Choice Incorporated, Larson Construction Management Incorporated, Suncoast Fence, Donut NV. Rotor Rooter, Case Style Cravings, We Feed Your Soul. Little Italy Ristorante and Marcos Pizza, thank you for being sponsors of Broncos football. Fourth and goal play right here. And now they've got the Quarry and Brady back in. Takes the snap. 
Rolls out to the far side, makes the pass. And incomplete, gets knocked down, turnover on downs. First down. For the Broncos. Broncos, the 2022 uh, champions of the FCFL, looking to make it two years in a row here in 2023. Long time of possession there for the Bulls has left 7.55 remaining in this football game. And now the Bulls will take their third and final timeout. We'll step away real quick. We'll take this timeout. We'll be right back. This is the FCFL North Conference Championship here on Gridiron, Gridiron Productions. How I bowl, D Max, D Max, better than y'all. D Max, D Max, like my style. D Max, D Max, driving you wild. Who to blame, who to blame? That's what the opposing team is saying when I step in the game. They see I got too much swag in my veins. And every time I move, all they see is that I leave behind flames. Welcome back. A run straight up the middle by the Broncos for a first down. Who did this ball run? Still on his feet and dragging people down the field. First down, Broncos. Huge, powerful run by Rashid Blatch. Clock running with 7.30 remaining here in the game. Split back set, shotgun. Takes a snap. Again, they'll give it to Blatch. Blatch right up the middle. Another first down. Rashad Floyd still in a quarterback for the Broncos. Clock running, 6.35 remaining. Wideouts on each side, split back set. Floyd in a quarterback. Takes a snap. Hands it off. Look at that. To the left side. Find a hole. Cuts up the middle. And will finally get taken down. Another first down run. By the Broncos, number 24 that time on the carry. That's going to be Romel Brantley. Thank <laughs> you. 
Same formation for the Broncos. Takes the snap. Hands it off. And this time, they're going to get stopped. Number 17 on the carry that time for the Broncos. That's going to be Trevor Young. And since the possession, this is their first second down play of this possession for the Broncos. Second down play. Clock running, 435 remaining. Takes a snap, hands it off. Goes to the left. Finds a little space outside. Penalty flag comes in. He'll run out of bounds. As Trevor Young on the carry. Holding called against the Broncos. Big Kid Toy E-Bikes, Godfather Pond, Fish Bar and Grill, Corey's Economy Cars of Daytona Beach Incorporated, Olson, Custom Holmes, Building Integrity for 20 Years, Madeline's Wine Bar in Daytona Beach, Barbecue Chic, Six Speed Seaway Indoor Karting Daytona, Dave & Buster's, Full Cir Circle Nutrition, Daytona Cigar Club, Insane Cycles and Muscle Cars, Backyard Barbecue Boys, Main Street Tattoos, DaytonaFunRental.com, we deliver fun, Crunch Fitness, Ton Takeoff Nutrition, Mitchell's Tinning, Eat Play VR, Back Alley Lanes VR Arcade, Arcade and Bowling, and Carolina Seafood Company of South Daytona, thank you for being sponsored the Broncos football. Second down play, takes the snap. Quick pass, it's caught. Looking for some space, he'll lower the shoulder, protects the ball, will go down. Catch made by Juan Torres. Gonna be third down. Broncos come to the line, clock running down to 340 remaining in the football game. They lead 20 to 6 in this FCFL North Conference Championship game. Winner moves on to the Super Bowl. Takes a snap. Quick pass and knocked down, nearly intercepted. Penalty flag on the field. Knocked down by number 17. Personal foul roughing the passer called against the Bulls. Fifteen yarder automatic first down for the Bulls. Three remaining in the game. 20 to 6 is our score. Broncos with the lead and the football in Bulls territory. Takes a snap. Floyd with the keeper. Cuts upfield. 
Penalty flag on the field. And he'll take it in the red zone, but let's see if it stands. This is going to be brought back and called against the Broncos. Takes the snap, hands it off, up the middle. Forward progress is stopped, they'll blow the whistles. And the Bulls are out of timeouts, they cannot stop this clock. And they will run the clock down to the two-minute warning. Two minutes remaining here in this FCFL North Conference Championship game. Broncos 20, Bulls 6. Keep it here. We'll be back. Broncos with the ball, hand it off. They give it to the big guy. And he will lower the shoulder and fall forward. She Blatch. Clock continues to run down to 128 remaining in the football game. Give it to Blatch. No, it ends up stays in the hands of Floyd, and he will take it all the way down to the five-yard line. First and goal, Broncos. With 54 seconds remaining in the football game. There was a confusion on the handoff between Floyd and, and Blatch, but Floyd ends up holding on to the football and takes it up the field.
Now let's see if they get in victory formation here. Now they're going to stay in the shotgun, split back set. Down the 20 seconds. And they'll hand it off and go into the end zone. No signal yet. And that is the ball game. No touchdown. No signal for the touchdown, but that is the ball game. As South Daytona Broncos, Daytona Beach Broncos win the FCFL North Conference Championship game. They move on June 2nd is where you will see them once again. It will be the FCFL Super Bowl against the Rise. 12 p.m. All-Star game. 3 p.m. is the sponsor game. And at 7 p.m. will be the Super Bowl championship game. The Rise and the Daytona Beach Broncos as the Broncos will be looking to go for a back-to-back -back championship year. Congratulations to the Broncos. Congratulations to both teams to make it to this level, but congratulations to the Broncos moving on. Three touchdown passes for the Broncos quarterback. Number 13, William Seward. All three passes made to the receiver, Kalo Hanna, number zero. One in the first quarter and two in the second quarter with a two-point conversion on the last touchdown makes our score 20 to six. Thank you for joining us here on Gridiron Productions. I'm Kenny Long of NYSR National Youth Sports Radio and the Voice Sports Sports Reporters. I want to thank all the sponsors once again for allowing us to broadcast this game here for the Daytona Beach Broncos. Congratulations once again. Our final score: twenty for the Daytona Beach Broncos, six for the Central Florida Bulls. Broncos move on to the Super Bowl. We'll see you June second. How I bowl, D Max, D Max, better than yo, D Max, D Max, like my style, D Max, D Max, driving you wild. Who to blame, who to blame? That's what the opposing team is saying when I step in the game. They see I got too much swag in my veins. And every time I move, all they see is that I leave behind flames. 